people don't feel safe, and that's a problem when people do not feel safe, whether they are or not, and we need to change that. From deadly shootings to stabbings and ATV riders reportedly assaulting people, it's been a violent week in the capital city. I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kalunian. The uptick in violent crime has led city police to partner with state police as they attempt to restore law and order. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo has the latest from the Public Safety Commissioner on what's being done. Sheena? Well, with so much going on in the city, city councilors have called for a special meeting Tuesday to address the uptick in violence. And as you just heard, the Public Safety Commissioner even acknowledges people don't feel safe right now. In his own words, Providence's public safety commissioner calls the city's 13th homicide a brutal killing of an innocent person. Authorities say a 24-year-old woman was shot and killed Sunday while talking with a friend on the street. It breaks my heart when these things happen. Commissioner Stephen Perry says that murder is top of mind for city officials. And so is what happened on Tuesday. Police say a group of ATV riders and dirt bikers beat and dragged a woman out of her car, all while her child was in the back seat. A North Providence woman has been charged in connection to that incident. We're thankful we're able to identify and hold her responsible. And the other eight or nine or ten that were with her, we're going to come and get them too. Mayor Lorza says addressing the ATV riders is something he'd like state police to help more with, a partnership he says that's already begun. However, Governor Dan McKee says he's been offering state police assistance in the capital city since May through the state police neighborhood response team. But as of this week, the governor's team tells 12 News Mayor Lorza has yet to accept the help. Commissioner Perry says Providence police leaders have been talking with state police for the past couple months. They have offered and will continue to use resources for not only the ATVs, but for violence as well. And there'll be a greater presence of the state police, both in uniform and and behind the scene detective work, which is really the heart of uh, the violence. And Perry says they're always trying to figure out what else can they do to stop the violence. He also tells us community policing is very important right now and the department will continue building and working on relationships. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.